If the boys and girls would like to come up to the front and uh, join in some story time with uh, Jennifer, that would be great. Come on up. Awesome. Well, it's great to have you all here. My name is Jennifer. Do you want to share your names with me just so I know who I'm talking to? Should we start here? Paige. Paige. I'm Katie. Katie. Jana. Jana. Maya. Maya. Hila. Hila. Ayla. Ayla. Okay, thank you. Kelsey. Kelsey. Okay. Sharna. Sharna. Okay, awesome. Oh, and a couple more. Are you going to come up? Hi, I'm Jennifer. Can you tell me your name? No, okay. <laughs> That's okay. Well, this morning, I want to talk a little bit with you about baptism. How many people have seen a baptism or remember seeing? Yeah? Do you know what happens at baptism? Can we, can we talk a little bit about that? What are some of the things that happen? They yeah, they can dip the baby's head in the water, or sometimes we like put water on the head like that. Yep. What else happens? Anybody else? That's the big one, it's true, but there are a couple other things that happen. Do you know? Yep. There is a godfather and a godmother. There could be a godfather and a godmother, godparents, yeah. And what do they do? Do you know? Do you know what their role is? They just stand there. <laughs> do you know you? That's right, so the godparents can be, um, help bring up the child if something happens to the parents, but they also can just help bring up the child even if the parents are still alive, right? Yeah, and someone else had their hand up here. So we also say a whole bunch of words when there's a baptism, right? And do you know what those words are about? Anybody? They're promises, right? So the the parents and the godparents make promises, and then all of us who are gathered watching the baptism, we make promises too, right? So we promise to walk with that baby and walk with the parents, um, and God makes promises in baptism too. So baptism is basically um, us and God saying welcome into the world and welcome to this new family. And there's lots of other ways that we say welcome, aren't there, when we come to church in the morning. Um, I've certainly experienced that already. You all welcomed me by telling me your names, and other people have welcomed me by shaking my hand and saying how good it is to be here. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you a totally different question now. How many people have ever participated in a three-legged race? Do you know what that is? <laughs> you have? You have? Yeah? yeah? Not a race, just you've done it, though, a three-legged, yeah. Do I have a couple volunteers who would demonstrate? I have, I can tie four people together if you want. Okay, the two of you, and is there someone else who wants to volunteer? Okay, well let's tie the two of you together and then we can always do another set. Do you wanna come up here? We'll just walk back and forth on the rug, I think. Okay, so what happens in a three-legged race or a walk? So we tie your legs together, and do you walk apart? You have to walk together, that's right. And you have to have good timing, that's right. And how do you walk together? How are you gonna decide how to do that? There we go. So you have to decide which leg is gonna go first. Awesome. Thank you. All right, anyone else wanna try it? Anyone else want to join in? Oh, I will. Oh, oh Keith will. All right. That's good. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Are we going to race now? No, we're not going to race because I don't want anyone to get hurt. <laughs> we're just going to demonstrate. All right. This one first? Okay. Can you walk behind them? And Oops. I'm losing okay. my microphone here. <laughs> All right. So now, now that you're up there and everyone can see you, what happens if you try to go separate ways? 
<laughs> yeah, that's not going to end up too well, is it? Oops, oh, oh. <laughs> and what happens if one of you tries to turn and the other doesn't? You fall over. You fall over, that's right. The nylons are stretchy, so you might not actually fall over this time, but that's right. So part of the three-legged race is they are just walking together, not even racing, is you have to agree that you're going to walk together, right? And you have to figure out which leg goes first. You have to talk to one another about that. And it's kind of like making promises, like we do in baptism, because we say that we're going to at least walk together for this time, and that's what baptism is. We say we're going to walk with the child and the parents or the adults. Sometimes adults are baptized too. Um, and we make promises that we're going to do that together. Sometimes we might disagree, but we still promise that we're going to walk together. So even if we want to go in two separate directions, we still have to talk about how we're going to do that. Maybe we'll go one direction first and then the other direction, right? Yeah. Well, thank you for demonstrating that. You all did great. <laughs> Yeah, this is the most challenging part, getting out of the three-legged race. <laughs> that's, where, that's where the story breaks down. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. So next time you see a baptism, maybe you'll also think about a three-legged race and how we try to walk together and work together and support one another, right, as we learn and grow together. Well, I think you're going to head downstairs with Darren now, so thank you for joining me up here.